what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello fellow Chibis, this is Catching Fire 3 with some more I Love You Colonel Sanders that KFC dating sim. It's Colonel Sanders, he's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to kid her his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss but from that run in with the mixer and that small fire. We, we should get that checked out. I I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fi fryer. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've ever failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well then, think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obst obstetrician. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't know what an obstetrician is. Okay, let me see. Definition of obstetrician. Oh, okay, it's uh, surgery of childbirth and whatnot. I was passionate about justice. No, I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours of labor or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A, a burning passion. One has to rem Oh, wait, sorry. One has to remember that every failure can be a stop, uh, stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before you prepare for the worst. It's the Spark Monster! Corko, the Spark Monster, is here to fight a hero! Is... is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? I'm sorry, Gur Gorko, but I could have sworn we already battled you last night. That was Borko, my twin! And I, Gorko, am here to avenge them. Are you stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so no, not really. We're pretty much exactly equal in every way. Why do you ask? Colonel Sanders smirks. He's already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Borko pretty easily, so I don't think you have much of a chance. Not to mention, I feel really guilty about that. If I could take it back, I would. I think what Scott is saying is, can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. I suppose we really don't need to fight? It's just that I've got these pointy teeth and claws. All the better for enjoying tasting food, tasty foods. Surely you like to eat, don't we all? Of course I do! Inspiration strikes you and you come with a quick idea. Chomp on this! You toss a biscuit into Gorko's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Delicious! You're much nicer than the evil students who once upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. I don't believe it. You were human once? Well, no, I was a chihuahua. 
But I was still a student at this school until one day some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. A magic spell book? Precisely! Bucko used to have a copy, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you f find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef and shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who could ch would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear, I will be there. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Scott, together I am sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. A personal fight? You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Stepping inside Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with them. It looks like you have lived such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure. If you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, and never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food when I, with another ambitious chef. Well, there's something. It's just a side dish but I, that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to appear with something spicy or something crispy, both perhaps? Now you've got him right where you want him, should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you reveal it? You decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I present to you my original coleslaw. The shredded cabbage disc glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders Lux hideaway. Magnificent. Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a, a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. You gaze out the window across the vast light and mountain range beyond. Just then, the ghost of student pops up. Are you thinking about heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I couldn't just tell you my name right now. It's... Can you see I'm in the middle of something? You open the window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with a breeze. Tap on an item. Okay. Oh, that's pretty in Is that supposed to be this colonel's dad, or is that supposed to be the colonel that's on this? I don't get it. One of the frames fro framed photos show an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheersing them. You look closely and see there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend- I wonder who my friend Pete is. Tap on another item. Oh my god! That is- Funny, but cute. Imagine being born with that mustache and goatee. Come on. An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor from the goatee and mustache combo he sports. You'll, you figure that this must be Colonel Sanders himself. That or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? Now, Colonel Sanders is on a camel. The photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Maybe this is where he discovered one of his secret herbs and spices. This must be where he keeps the secret recipe. You think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders, then it dawns on you. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11, the safe opens. Inside it, you find a single note. Hmm, can chicken be prepared sashimi style? Okay. 
You take a closer look at a large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but the, when you wipe it off, you can read the inscription. It says, here lies the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. Poor guy. Tap on an item. How about the chicken? You notice very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it's, it isn't just realistic. It's real. Taxidermy? Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. Little note clip to the nickel, uh, the nickens. The chicken's foot reads the, the true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. I'm just checking before I go there. There's two more. Oh my God! Wait, do they actually have KFC scented candles? I think they do actually. KFC scented candle. How would you look at that? They have fire logs. It's at Walmart for four eighty eight, and Amazon. Okay, hold on. Why is it on Amazon for so much more money? And then, the, okay, that one's funny. Here is fried. Oh wait, no, that can't. No, that's not. That's interesting though. I have to show that to my mom. A Sunday candle, you pick it up and try to identify the smell. Power tool? Freshly starched collar? Piece of wood floating in a lake? Oh, it's Colonel Sanders' scented candle. Summer of 69? That's a good song. No, it's one of the secret in recipe ingredients. It's beep! Okay, last one right here. A comb with his hair. Take, the, take his hair and clone him. A lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of the comb. The comb looks like it's made out of gold, to be honest. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair therein isn't just silver in color. It's actually made of spun silver. Okay. Let's look around real quick. Okay, now the door. You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature wh white suits hanging within. You take one off its hanger and try it on. The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent that is creepy and weird. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he has been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks you why you're wearing his jacket. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say it does look good on you. Oh crap, the jacket! You forgot to take it off. Tell him you're cold, you decide, uh, you fess up until the truth, you confess. I think I've developed feelings for you. I might be developing feelings for you too. Ooh but I'm, but I'm concerned. I can't let anything get in the way of my dreams. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel? Yes, Scott? I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence! Ooh, would you look at that dream sequence? Wee! <laughs> I like the ghost at the end. You wake to a beautiful morning in Colonel si Sanders' hideaway. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is the day that could change the rest of your life. You think about the new secret ingredient you just learned about. Beep. I'll just do a small beep. In some jurisdictions, beep, isn't even legal. But if the recipe is a secret, how will they know? It's marijuana. That's why I don't like it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast and your mouth waters at the sight of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. That is more er, like a light lunch. It's meticulous. You taste Colonel Sanders' food and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. So, would you say that we're the perfect match? How presumptuous. My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Uh, such confidence, such grace. Could he be the world's greatest gift to cookery flatter him? You know, I think we might make a great team. A single tear begins to pull on the corner of his eye as he glazes, gazes out the window, not glazes. 
And with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. Oh wait, wasn't that the wasn't that the colonel that was talking? Oh my god, I keep forgetting. Business partner, could he be talking to you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. There's still one more day of school after all. The university looks all waits for no one. I should have just read the whole thing. You you get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for Where have you been? I Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something had happened to you. It's okay, I was just But now that it turns out you're fine, I can finally get you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but you you will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date. I think I can believe that. Since I'd been partnered up with Clank, he asked me to go out with him. Of course I told him you'd better keep your dials turned to polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure, I can get to know the little metallic guy. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends. But things quickly spiraled out of control. Did she just say skydiving uh, diving as if it's that if as if that's a typical first date to go on with the talking pressure cooker? True, true. I was thinking the same thing. And now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell her whole story, however, bottling up the details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a day too, back to Colonel Sanders' house where I spent the night with him. You what? Nothing happened, but the emotional connection. Wow. I'm not saying that word. Miriam tells you to move on from this old Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, you don't want to be right. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, though he himself might not quite grasp that fact. Because, you know, Pop. What's a swirly? It sounds delicious. Oh, it's great. I'll order you up one right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. <laughs> sprinkles is a dog in a tree. You can get your swirly dip, uh, your swirly dip too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person at the school. There is that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? You've got- oh wait, hold on, what was this horse? You've got some nerve, Scott. Suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse? Now you're twisting my words and I won't have it. You clench your fist, but the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you wince with pain. It doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never give up, ever. Colonel Sanders arrives just as it appears things are close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Scott, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday, I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say. It was bland. Excuse me, Scott. I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine art of fine foods. See you inside, Scott. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley, Ashley for who, who you know she really is, you walk across the quad to get some distance. Let's see. Wow, I'm already at the ninth bite, so I don't know where that starts. But if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below what you want me to do next, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor.